Oh, they're gonna lay an egg on your camera. As much as I love to travel, the pandemic has kicked those plans in the butt. It's also made me realize that it's high time we gave our travel habits a sustainable reboot. If we want to live, love, and laugh again, we have to be more conscious, realistic, and creative with what we've got. Love. Maggots. Love. So today, I'm going to find out how Singapore is making that sustainable future a reality by reimagining all that we consume. Let's dive right in, yo! Singapore's known for its amazing food. However, being a tiny land staff nation means most of that food needs to be imported. But thankfully, the city's changing things around with some new farm-to-table concepts. But forget about the table for now. Let's talk about the farm. A farm that's using innovative solutions to grow non-native produce. And it's in the place where you least expect an office building. Welcome to the future of growing plants. This is Benjamin Swan, the brains behind Singapore's very own kale. Am I ready for the future? Okay, yes. What we do is we actually control this environment and we use technology to replicate what happens in nature. So this is still natural. So it's free of pesticides, it's free of heavy metals and pollutants. It is true, 100% clean, almost pharmaceutical grade produce. Not only does it taste better, it's more nutritious as well. This is a slightly smaller leaf. I feel like a horse. Mm. You've eaten kale before, right? Yes, I, I have. Guess. We could, in fact, go across the world one day in every major city for the purpose of displacing imports, so thereby we can reduce the amount of food waste and carbon emissions. You know, we don't have a lot of resources, but you make do, you adapt. Now, kale is not quite Singapore famous yet, but world-renowned seafood dishes like chili crab are. So how is this city introducing the spice of sustainability in its seafood? I'm here at Polo Marine, a fish market, to find out. So, how are you doing? I noticed the waters are really clear. We use zero wastage water. Our water will always be topping up, mm. but we don't throw away the water. What we do is we run them through this thing called the schema. They actually uh, kills off all the bacteria using computerized system. Who knew that using recycled water was a way to getting fresher seafood? I didn't, but I can't wait to try it. Go, 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 go. Okay, I think it's nothing lah. I was yeah. just like sucking myself. <laughs> I'm gonna shuck these oysters right now, and I'm gonna shuck it good. Oh my gosh, I did it! So good. When you think about the travelers' appetite for local foods, Apollo Marine is out here doing their part to alleviate some of the waste that the industry creates. Unfortunately, food wastage is still happening even before the products reach our shelves. So I've decided to visit Insecta, where they figure out a very bizarre and buggy solution to food waste. And it has to do something with black soldier flies. I don't know what, but I'm here to find out. <laughs> it's hot. Welcome to Insecta. Mm -hmm. That's the farm behind me. Mm -hmm. So Insecta is Singapore's first biotech company mm -hmm. and farm rearing the black soldier fly. These guys are munching on Singapore's pre-consumption food waste from our factories. They are turned into rich animal feed, fertilizers, and even transformed into electronics and skincare. Over here at Insecta, we are pioneering not only the technology but the outreach and education as well mm -hmm. to get people comfortable with yeah. the idea of having insects as a beneficial resource. Insects are the future, yeah. Let's go. Time to educate myself. First step, make friends with our future heroes. Keep calm and uh, soldier on. Like, so shy, soup it in or...? Yeah, you can... Put your whole hand in inside and get the full experience. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! So, so these are the pre pupae stage, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks beautiful. This is the mating chamber. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah, we're going right into the heat. Yep. Hey, ho, hey. This is where Insecta breeds their flies. A cage chamber for the little guys to mate and lay eggs in a contained environment. Uh -huh. Okay. How are you so calm? Why are you so calm? <laughs> because I know that they're not going to hurt me. The black soldier fly. The gift that keeps on giving. So there was 
a lot of bugs on me just now and I'm feeling kind of hot and sticky from the heat and luckily in Singapore there's plenty full of opportunities for me to do a quick switcheroo freshen up myself I'm about to head into Little Match Girl one of Singapore's fast fashion and conscious clothing labels they're trying to undo years of environmental damage caused by the fashion industry one snazzy dress at a time they've pivoted to using tencel as their superstar material. Tencel is a biodegradable fabric made from sustainably sourced wood, giving way to what we know as slow fashion, a growing movement to reduce waste in the fashion scene. To me, slow fashion is actually the trend right now. And in the future, I would say that uh, this is a direction that uh, everyone should go in towards too. All this talk about slow fashion has got me thinking. To know more, I'm on my way to meet a designer whose label has always stood for slow fashion. But beyond just using sustainable materials, they realize that it's also about how these products can help us be more mindful about our lifestyles. Welcome to Grey. So what does slow fashion actually mean, especially to like an average consumer like myself? <laughs> For fast fashion, you do more uh, trend-focused products and you can ignore what you have produced along the way. Yeah, so being slow fashion, the, the concept is about you make something good that can last instead of just churning out more things. At Grey, we always we focus a lot on the design details. Creatively making things multi-use, multi-wearing, mm. so really making it versatile, genderless, seasonless and functional. Customers are more careful about what they shop nowadays and they do realise that our purchasing behaviour actually makes a difference. Mm -hmm. It's really a reminder for me mm -hmm. to practice sustainability throughout the whole business. Mm -hmm. like, you can design anything you want in life. Both designers and consumers have a role to play when it comes to solving all that's wrong with the fashion industry today. In a world that wants you to buy more and more, it's refreshing to have sustainable brands that encourage us to shop more consciously. But is it just the basic things like food and clothing that are getting a conscious makeover? What about a more sustainable way to treat ourselves? Thankfully, I found someone who's on the mission to make that a choice we can all make. His name is Travin, and he runs a food tech startup called Crust. He's been collaborating with some of my favourite bakeries, collecting leftover breads to brew his very own Singaporean beer. His official brewery is off limits to non-employees like me. So, we're headed to where he first turned bread into beer, his home kitchen. Why beer is because at least when it comes to waste management, it's the most fun way of having a conversation around it. Yeah. So I was doing a bit of research on like the origins of beer and all. Mm. Came across quite a number of articles where it states that the preservation of bread yeah. is one of the oldest forms of making beer. Go driving. Go driving. Is she always like that? Yes. <laughs> you want help? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> And in the true crust fashion, the theme of our brew is leftovers. We've got some surplus bread, we soak this in some water, extract the sugar, add our beer hops and... Let it sit for maybe 2-3 to three more weeks, mm -hmm. then a month later, we would have our batch. I'm not even sure if this is going to be any good, lah, but that's the whole reason why we do R&D anyway, right? Yeah. Wow. Since we can't get drunk of this batch yet, we decided to head out for some good old happy hour and try out a fully realized and quality check version of Travin's beer. Travin, you took that DIY spirit, you know, and you just open it up and share it with someone like me even. And then if that's what it's all about, cheers to that, bruh. Yes? Cheers? Thank you. <laughs> Although a lot of us have been travelling to escape the daily grind, now is the time for us to travel with purpose and intent. The places that I've checked out are a look into the future. And it's all about reinvention, innovation, and finding new opportunities. Now that's a plan I can get behind as we open up to the rest of the world. My name's Ashley, and I'm out.